The ninth race, Breeders Crown Open Pace of 2005 is off. Charging out in the center of the gate was My Pan Mar. Town Champion is leaving. Boulder Creek in between horses. Quality Western along the inside. Ponder shows up into the top five on the outside. Georgia Pacific bottled up in sixth position. Eden Roadkill is seventh. Dr. No, eighth in traffic on the outside. Holborn Hanover is ninth. And Times Are Changing is tenth. John Campbell out to the lead with 20 to 1 long shot. My Pan Mar, 25 and 2 a deceptively quick opening quarter and moving into the backstretch town champion raced away in second now comes out on the leader my panmar takes hold uh, quality western following off in third boulder creek is fourth ponder feathered up on the outside fifth at the flank of georgia pacific dr no out all the way in traffic eden roadkill is eighth holborn had her ninth on the outside times are changing his tenth and the halfway point leader in the breeders crown town champion quality western fires out in 54 seconds 28 and three second quarter town champion quality western first up on the last turn of the breeders crown my pan mar back along the inside sears is playing at a chilly second over with boulder creek fourth on the final turn georgia pacific is fifth ponder not far away sixth on the outside dr no is seventh eden roadkill hemmed up from eighth times are changing in a wall of traffic ninth holborn hanover was tenth on the outside quality western town champion boulder creek is asked to convert from second over in the breeders crown 122 flat 28 seconds in the third and here comes boulder creek to the late stretch lead in the breeders crown ponder on the outside georgia pacific is back on through what a perfect steer by brian sears in the breeders crown boulder creek is a defending champion to georgia pacific my pan mar and ponder in 149 and one boulder creek made it look easy Boulder Creek is back into the Mohawk Winter Circle, capturing the Breeders' Crown. Just won his sixth Breeders' Crown final, back to back here with Boulder Creek. You weren't aboard him last year. Uh, it was Ron Pierce that guided him to the victory, but uh, even last year, you know what this horse was all about. Yeah, um, when they said I was going to get the call on him, I was excited and uh, looking forward to driving him. Versatility is something he's got in his uh, arsenal of weapons. Last week he did all the road work. Tonight uh, you were able to work out a marvelous trip. You even picked up some cover around the last turn. You had to be feeling pretty good coming down that long stretch. Yeah, I was glad I was at a spot where I was going to be able to race my horse, and uh, being second over, it worked out perfect. Brian, uh, talk about hosted Ruth Belt's performance earlier tonight, third in the crown. Uh, were you happy with that? Yeah, you know, I thought um, we had a good chance to be second over second. But, you know, the trip, trip didn't work out exactly the way I liked it. But, um, you know, you can only drive one horse. How about Sandvik in the open trot? I know he's up against Mr. Muscleman, and uh, your horse has yet to win this year. Could it be tonight? You know, the horse is a sweetheart, and uh, he's a pleasure to drive, and he's, he's, he's really sharp right now. We'll let you go. We know you want to get your picture taken. Thank you. Brian Sears, that's Breeders' Crown, win number six, and it's back-to-back -back for the big gelding, Boulder Creek. And with special thanks again to our Ken Middleton, that interview with winning driver Brian Sears, as seen on The Score. Live national coverage from Breeders' Crown Night across Canada, here from Mohawk. Boulder Creek. Remaining in the winner's circle for more of the Breeders' Crown photo-taking ceremonies and presentations. Making the Breeders' Crown trophy presentation with special thanks to Tom Crouch, director of the Hamiltonian Society, the owner of the Kentuckiana Breeding Farm. Boulder Creek was bred by Debbie and Barry Bird of Harwood and Oshawa and Cyril Hayes of Burlington, now owned by Clifford Siegel, Lee Wasserman, and John Fodera of New York. Trained by Mark Silva, for Brian Sears, his sixth Breeders' Crown title individually. And Boulder Creek is a back-to-back -back winner in the Breeders' Crown. Open pace last year at age four. Here again at age five at Mohawk, his fifth and 18 this year. 25th career win, closing in on $2.5 million lifetime. Returning 380 onto the win ticket, the 4-2 exactter, 5490. 4-2 and 6 try, 505.90.